Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Ohio Fleet. We've taken over Zyram over here and we are about to go to Imgur where we are supposed to meet someone. Not really sure who, but uh, yeah, we're supposed to meet someone. We're kind of low on money, 23,000. We do have some repair parts, which is good. Um, I'm thinking about getting some fuel here. Uh, we'll probably do it in Imgur. Well, actually, let's check if anything needs to be repaired. Look at our ships. We're just putting lots of heavy armor on top everywhere. The gladiator is just ridiculous. Uh, which does mean, of course, that our consumption is going up, which is not very good. Scarab. Oh, did we not repair this? Uh, I thought we did. Let's put it into the docks then and repair it quickly. 291 over there. <coughs> Go there. Meters. Oh yeah, this thing is is not a lightning. So yeah, yep, yeah, that took uh, full throttle all the way, meters. practically, to slow down. But that was perfect. So there we go. Touchdown confirmed. Lovely. All right. So let's repair this scarab armored. Oh, it also adds the rockets. That's fine. Um, considering I've got this armor up top here, I'm I'm wondering if these things won't just impact the armor. Well, probably not. Let, let's go do it like this. 1,200 to repair. Um, I wonder if I should sell some of this stuff. Automatic cannons. These are nice. So we do have some, you know, we do have a fair bit of money in reserve still, uh, despite everything. These are 4,000 each, and we've got quite a few of them uh, that we've scavenged. So that's good. We've actually got a lot. Look at that, 180 millimeter large caliber twin cannon. I want that on here. And that would be nice if I could. I've got two of these. So what would happen? Can I actually fit it on? Yes, I can. Holy moly, of course, it needs a lot more ammunition and a lot more crew and power. But that is... <laughs> that would be freaking awesome. <laughs> yeah, but we, we can't do that, unfortunately. Um, single barrel. That would be crazy. That would be just so crazy. I'm wondering if I should put... Oh yeah, we don't have an Elend here. Uh, well, I mean, uh, well, yeah, an Elend, but mo more like uh, an infrared detector. That's what I need. I would like to put these on on the smaller ships. Um, Scarab. 2.8. And this is 2.5 uh, thrust to weight ratio. So this thing really isn't as armored as the Gladiator. And uh, yeah, it's only slightly more maneuverable. This thing is still fairly nippy but it's no lightning because of that uh, armor up top so we're probably just gonna leave it like that it's got a hundred millimeter cannons that's good i really want to put these giant things on there but uh yeah the problem is if you were to do that <laughs> well actually it does have practically all the power it needs uh, obviously needs a lot more ammunition. One part... See, it doesn't... What is the difference between these? I guess this this one just gives you a lot more power. Uh, I mean, uh, a lot more ammo. This one probably gives you one ammo. And this one gives you two? Maybe? Or maybe three. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's... Oh, wait a second. This is a double one. Uh... This one. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, let's just let's just play around and see how much we would need large hull. Look at that thing. How much we would need to actually make this work. Uh, so what if I put that over here? Can I put... Uh, what do we need? We need more power. We need more ammo. So let's put... Oh, oh yeah, because it's blocking that engine. So what happens if I do this? So you can put that ammo over there, but not... Yeah, you can. There we go. 
But of course, the ammo thingies also need a lot more power. Okay, so then we put this here. And I love the fact how it sort of molds itself to the rest of the structure. That really looks very cool. Okay, and then this. And we're probably not going to... Oh, they don't have any more ammo stuff. That's a shame. That's a shame. Um... Okay, so let's see. So, uh... Oh yeah, they don't even have the small ammo available. No, they don't. That's, uh, that's a big shame. So, how much does a small crew quarters? Wow. Uh, wait. It was 82, 85. Okay, so... We need a lot more crew. There we go. That's enough crew. Uh, down there where it's, you know, it's nice and easy to destroy. Um, and then it needs more power. Uh, where's the MGU? Ship base, you know, use an auxiliary power unit. Simple and reliable. So this one is the bigger one. But of course, once again, we would need more, more space. And, uh, there's really no good space to put it. <laughs> it's just, it's just an abomination. So, this is what we would need. Something like this. It all... Who? Where did you go? What happened? So, this would cost 16,000. Holy moly. And... Yeah, it, it still needs more ammunition. And probably more power because of that. But, if we were to do single ones... Um, where are they? That's a Sarmat, and there's the single one. Look at that! That actually works! <laughs> of course, these generators are completely exposed. Uh, this stuff down here is not very good. I mean, I could, I suppose, do engines over there instead. Uh, wait, can I, can I take the entire thing? Sort of. And then put the engines? No, you can't really. I mean, yeah, I think it would be an interesting experience, but not very useful because I would have to armor the all the extra stuff as well. It just wouldn't work very well, I don't think. Uh, would be quite funny, though. I'm kind of thinking about putting that stuff on the scarab. Uh, I mean, the gladiator. But these quad 100 millimeter are very, very good. We do have extra crew we do have extra power which means we could have some extra ammunition if we wanted so if i was to replace these with the single 100 millimeter which unfortunately i don't have two of no i only have one that's a that's a big shame so even putting one on there is too much and putting two on there you need a lot more uh ammunition which of course we don't have so yeah, never mind. Um, this thing is already repaired, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, but I think we'll have to play with that around at some point. Scarab is getting repaired, right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Longer bow. Needs some stuff repaired. Heavy damage. Module is in the pro- Wait, what did it say? Heavy damage sustained. Performance greatly reduced. Okay. Is that- your ability 30. No, these are fine. Uh, Gladiator. That thing is awesome, though. Really heavily armored. Uh, and the Yars is being repaired as well. Nope, not yet. But let's uh, let's put it into the docks. 238, I think, will do. Although, it might actually be too small. That bay might be too small. In which case, I'll just go for a 114 there. Why is all the sound on the right only? Meters. That's... That's kind of crappy. Give me sound on both sides. Meters. Oh, this thing... Oh, I need a bit of a boost. I think I can just... Fit it in there. Yeah, just. Gotta be careful I don't... Scrape any of the armor off. We don't want to do that. Touchdown confirmed. There we go. Lovely. 
All right, let's just repair this thing real quick. There we go. All right, that's good. Yeah, we know it's armless. It doesn't have any missiles here, which is a shame, because these missiles are actually very, very good, and I don't want to use um, these things. And they don't have any of those missiles either. The, uh, what are they called? The R9 Sprint. These have been actually a, a big save um, against uh, enemy missiles. Look at that thing. Holy moly. 185 millimeter, six barrel heavy main battery. Okay, anyway. Um... Is anything? No. Okay. Now let's let's actually do stuff now, because I know you're you're probably waiting for something to actually happen now. Uh, aircraft bomb, 100 kilograms. No aircraft missile incendiary. 220. See, there's 220 millimeters as well. All right. Uh, we have been detected here or reported, of course. So we're still fueling, and then we're gonna go. I'm not expecting anything big to come our way. We have gotten rid of quite a few strike groups, I do have to say. There's still quite a few uh, missile strike groups out there, carrier groups, and so on, so, you know. ETA in, course, south-southwest. Oh, so he's going from Imgur to Zamorim. Cargo chemicals, Windwalker. Oh, that's a shame. Would have been able to get it, but oh well. Uh, so let's wait until... There we go. We're done fueling, uh, so now we can go to Imgur. In fact, you know what? Considering we're gonna go to Nimrud afterwards, there's no point in sending the Sevastopol and everything. I'm going to send a uh, Skylark, and what if I only send a Gladiator? Yeah, I don't know, I have enough fuel. I'm going to send a Skylark and a Scarab. Or should I send a Meteor? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna send both of these there to talk to them. There's no point in using that much fuel with these guys, <clears throat> and I'm still uh, having the gladiator stay behind. So just in case, uh, let's, let's see if there's something around here. No. All right. Oh yeah, they're already reporting us. That's fine. Not really sure how. There was no timer there at all. <clears throat> Morale 4 only. Huh. Okay. That's kind of crappy. Nimrod. So the Meteor can take out the Light Sloggers and then maybe chip away at the Nimrod and then get away. This guy is also armored on the bottom. That's quite interesting. Alright. There we go. Yep. Already. I don't have any flares on here. Not already. That's not good. Oh, barely avoided that one. Ow, ow. Already? Nice, nice. And let's get this one. Oh, that, that hurts. I think we need to go. Yep. Yeah. We need to go. Oh, we're barely moving. Oh, what happened to those guys? Oh no, I've lost the damn thing. Seriously? Shoot. Well, we can restart. I really don't want to lose this thing. Okay, let's start with the scarab. I really don't want to lose that thing. That sucks. Where's the others? Nice. Oh, there they are. Oh. Again! Frickin' hell, I still have stupid stuff going everywhere on this one. Frickin' hell, those frickin' flares. I hate that. I took it right in the face. And I used the bloody flares. And our missile got destroyed. Ow. Nice. 
damn it, I ate that bloody missile. But it, at least we didn't lose the other one. Wow, that that thing gets destroyed so quickly. It's coming up, but we did get hit from the bottom, so that's true. Guns fully loaded. Twenty, yeah, twenty percent more maneuverable. I like that. Okay, well these guys are dying, uh, so we're not gonna search for survivors right now. Four thousand. That sucks. Okay. Get the molots. And then we're gonna get the crew protection. The only bad thing about this is that... Uh, while they have detected us here, and they think, oh, we're here, you know, not there anymore, uh, they'll probably still go through Zyram to get to Imgur. <laughs> Great, so they're encrypting this stuff again. <clears throat> That's nice. <sighs> I don't know. Well, that would be... Wait a second. The other one before... Was... Windwalker, Sapphire. That's not it. Because this is different down here. You can see this is very short. So never mind that. Okay. Uh, need rescue order. Okay. Uh, crew protection first. Okay. And search the crew cabins. And then we go. So... What? What do you mean damage zero? There's clearly lots of damage here. Okay. 60. Fire reverse thrusters. Beginning final approach. 500 meters. You gotta remember these things are not lightnings. Meters. They're not nearly as maneuverable. Or, well, they don't have nearly as much thrust available here for landing. Which means I cannot just uh, free fall until about 300 meters and then fire thrusters. Yeah, this thing is... Okay, now we should get some story. No? Oh yeah, there, there, he's there. Okay, let's start repairing this first. So, yeah, these things are okay, but... This thing gets damaged so easily. We will have to put some more armor around it. I think I want to put this one in docks. What is this? This is not the faster repairs. This is special stuff. Excellent. All right, let's put this one in docks as well. Mm, it sucks that they only have... Well, 48. That's... Did you see that change? The numbers changed. That was weird. Yeah, the numbers changed. Okay, I'm gonna... Try to put some stronger engines on this. We'll also need more fuel, of course. We're basically just making it bigger and heavier. <sighs> Alright. Eight hours to do this. Jeez. So. Uh. They have a lot of stuff here, though. So these are the NK25. Which are 36 uh, mega newtons of thrust, uh, thrust, <laughs> not trust. Well, these are those are the most powerful, aren't they, for the small ships? Uh, for being fuel efficient. Well, actually, I think that's what it needs. It needs some more of these engines, uh, non-vectored ones. Hmm. And there's the uh, Elent, uh, but I want the infrared. In weapons, targets, intelligence, and detect the enemy radar. This one. Tracks enemies passively. Yeah. This is what I want on one of my ships here so they can go out and. Actually, uh, the Skylark has that, right? Yeah. Um, right, so how are we gonna do this? We need. See, this is the problem. I'm not very versed in, in modifying these ships yet. I can, you know, I can modify slight things. I can add some armor. I can add some, uh, um, you know, uh, other stuff. But doing it, doing all of it, is a bit daunting. 
So, I want some of these parts. So that's going to be... This is going to be where the armor is going to be on the top. So actually, let's just put this thing up here. Uh, the normal one. There. So this is going to be a bit more... A bit heavier. That's going to take a long time though. That's going to take a long time. Holy moly, you've got to be kidding me. And of course, we'll need more heavy armor up there to protect that. So, can we put... Can we put engines on this? Yes, we can. Okay. So, something like this down there as well. Uh, so, there's nothing on, on this hull here. Oh. Oh, that, oh, 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 that was the... Oh, shoot. How do you do this now? What? How does this work? So, it's this one. Okay. But how does that... A oh, freaking hell, now I have to undo. Because these things are built from several parts. Why is it not just landing gear and that's it? Okay, so the landing gear attached to this. So I cannot really change that, I suppose. But what I will do is put more of this stuff down here. Like so. And then we'll have some engines down here to help it with thrust. Uh, 25. 32. 4 kilograms a second. So, if I put two more engines down here, that'll make it a lot more maneuverable, but I will also need uh, another fuel tank. Oh, that's way too big. Only one part for the fuel tank. That sucks. So, fuel tank down here. Oh, they have another one. Perfect. Actually, they have 14 of them, I guess. So you either take 14 small ones or eight, eight, eight big ones. All right, so more fuel because they'll need it. And then we get rid of this. This is going to take way too long to do, though. Look at this. Maybe I should just buy the stuff that I need uh, from this place and then go and change it somewhere else. I don't know. Is that how it is? I wish I could do this, save the design, and then not actually do it. So if I do it like this... I'm sure this is not how you should be doing things. Um, so how much fuel do we have now? 9%. We don't have a lot of fuel at all. We, we will probably need more fuel. Uh, but do we need anything else? We've got two more engines. And this thing does not have any rockets now. So if I was to put... More armor here. That will protect... It'll protect the fuel pods, I guess. Like so. Can I do this? Yes, I can. Those things actually don't need any support. So we fully armored it over here. And then I need more fuel tanks. Can I just hold space? Yet? I mean, shift? Yes, I can. See, this is going to take so long. So this is now pretty much a tanker as well. Uh, and it doesn't have any evac pods. I, I cannot wait 35 hours for this. Unless I just leave the ship here on its own with a Skylark. But this is not going to work. I'll have to undo this, you know. I'll really have to undo this, unfortunately. So, uh, I'll just buy stuff here. And then bring it with me. I'll... Wait, can I? No. I can... Oops. Control buys 10 of them. Okay. Uh, like that. 
Uh, chassis parts are usually available everywhere. Palash is quite good. I might actually put some of that on the small ones. Let's buy four of them for now. Uh, we've got fighter jets here, which is nice. We've got these things, which are only 300 apiece, so I'm going to buy all of them. We've got some tactical missiles, which is nice, but I'm running out of money fast. Uh, I'm actually going to buy all of these. Um, we said that we need more... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. We said that we need more of these engines. This one. I'm going to buy two of these. They're actually really cheap. I'm going to buy all of them, just in case I want to retrofit something else. Heavy ship. Fast 90 new meters. All right. Oh, this is uh, this is a vectored one. Okay, that's why this one is the same thrust. Uh, this is more thrust, the same fuel need, and less power need, because this one is actually uh, vectored. These uh, Sarmats are very nice, but very expensive. Uh, I might actually buy some of these flares as well. Two of them for now. So repair time, why is there so much repair time for this guy? So where's the flares? Because the flares are just ridiculous here. There they are. No, that's a palash. No, 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 no. Come on. Where's the flares? I wish it would show me where the freaking flares are on this thing. There's the flares. And there's the flares. Yeah, see, that's just stupid. We want the flares here. And here, for example. We certainly don't want them down there. Yeah, we'll just get rid of these. There we go. Yeah. Alright. That should work, I think. These guys don't really have any fuel or anything. 300 millimeter incendiary. Holy moly. Alright. Well, let's talk to the Tarkan now. See what this was all about. This is a small uh, carrier. Wasp. A small cloak-wrapped stranger emerges from the ship accompanied by an entourage. The gold-trimmed sword on the stranger's belt seems disproportionately large. So large it interferes with his gait. To your surprise, you see Omar and his men bow reverently to the stranger the moment they see him. Al-Sahir. Omar, son of Rasuf, peace be upon you. Why are you here, Al-Sahir? How is your good father? Harishids in service to the Lord Governor murdered my father. My father, they threw him off a ship three days ago. His body was shattered against the ground. Omar and his men s seem stunned by the news. The Almighty shall avenge his murder sevenfold. May it be so. The boy turns to you next. Oh, it is a boy, okay. Peace be upon you, son of Sayadi. Peace be upon you as well, good. The boy smiles when he sees you hesitate. Al-Sahir, call me an Al-Sahir. Harishids in service to the Lord Governor murdered my father, my father three days ago. You have my condolences, Al-Sahir. You are heading for Kiva, son of Sayadi. Allow me to join you. I will be happy to fight by your side, Al-Sahir. Okay. I want to meet other Tarkans. Do you know where to find them? All Tarkans became, uh, became outlaws after the Kivan revolution, but I've heard the rumors of a Tarkan living to the northeast of here. It's quite far. Mm, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, he likes me, so that's good. I really like that um, the clothing he has. Very cool. All right, so we've got an extra... Um, ship, that's pretty nice. Eight hours for repair. I'm not a fan of that. We have enough fuel to get back. But of course, that's gonna go down. Because, uh, yeah. We're burning. Actually, these guys don't seem... Are they burning fuel or not? Or is it just the main group that's burning fuel on standby? Oh, wow. That's a powerful signal. Okay. Uh, at... That might be at coordinates. So, let's see. Uh, that was 
Hmm. I'm kind of hoping he's here, though. Wait, what is that? Is that where we've detected him? Let's see, 18. Eighteen uh, forty. Yeah, it's gonna be eighteen forty either way. Uh, there, eighteen forty. Arriving. There we go. No. Well, this is arriving. No, it isn't. Chemicals. There we go. Chemicals. Uh, chemicals. There we go. In PSN, uh, speed on 60, go on the route. Zemahir Nagarashilo. Nagar, so he's going down there. Oh, Windwalker. But now at least we know things. Excellent. I got a Sheila Akkad main cargo ore. Okay. Alright. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And we're going to continue next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.